All right, folks, welcome back. Episode four, True Believers. This episode is gonna be called Tools. Um, stop, that's just not funny. Anyway, uh, this is going to go over that review between the iPad Pro and the Microsoft Surface Pro. Uh, before we go into that, though, uh, <laughs> I wanna address the last video. I got ready to reshoot it after I looked at it, and I went, you know what? This is a learning process. This is what I've been telling you all, that we're learning this thing together. Uh, if you've ever done any stage work or uh, anything where you have to set up a camera, you mark the floor, you mark the area where people are gonna go stand. Um, I didn't do that, I was like, I'm good, I know how this stuff works. I've shot commercials, I've done stuff like that. I, I got it, I got it, I can do this. I don't need to mark this stuff. So when I go back and look at the video, I've got my head chopped off, you know, tons of mistakes. I could have reshot it and done it, uh, but I wanted you to get to see the mess up stuff. Um, now, on with the show. This may be everybody's favorite video because you won't have to look at me, you'll get to look at products. On the desk here, I've got two products laid out. I've got the first one that's closest to the camera is the iPad Pro. This further one is the Surface Pro. Again, not going into specs. Just not going to do it. Um, let's address the first thing with Apple that I know everybody complains about. It doesn't have storage. You can't put storage in it. No storage. Storage. I hear this all the time. All my colleagues at work come to me about it, and that's the first thing that say they that. Uh, they say they don't want to buy an iPad for is the fact it doesn't have storage. Well, you can get from SanDisk, it's a wireless storage, allows you to back up pictures, data, information to this. Uh, then you just unplug it, plug this directly into your computer. The nice thing with the Surface Pro though is it doesn't matter whether it's this, one of these doohickeys, any USB drive is going to fit in it. It has a full size USB drive. Convenience. The next thing is I like to have a battery backup for my phone. Um, I love this device. Uh, charges two devices at the same time. Yeah, ran into a little problem. The Surface won't plug in because it's a USB. So, I have a bigger cable that I have to carry for the Surface compared to the iPads neater one um, to me this is the edge to the iPad so if we're keeping score jump drives the edge is out that's one point for the surface batteries one point goes to the iPad so right now we're one to one all right so at this point you've got the devices I've got Styluses that I carry for here. I've got my stylus built on. I've also got a mouse. Not a necessity, um, but I prefer the mouse. Um, it's a nice, sleek, small mouse, but it's still it's another item, another thing that I've got to keep batteries in. It's just another piece of hardware to keep up with. All right. Before we go into the stylus, and that's the big thing for the artist, we're going to look at setting up the device. My iPad is set up. Alright, so this was pretty much all I had to do for the iPad. It was ready to go. Set up for the surface. It's not a big deal. Pop that out. Drop it. It's ready to go. Um, it does have a very nice feature. I can drop it down. I can draw on it at this level. I did not get the Microsoft keyboard. I went with Moku for a very specific reason. I can detach. It is Bluetooth rather than controlled by the iPad or by the uh, Surface Pro, which means I can use my shortcut keys over here if need be. Back to the iPad Pro. 
going into drawing mode means I have to do this to kind of crush that. Styluses. Apple Pencil. Take the back off to charge it. Um, tip. When you wear it out, unscrews and you replace it. Surface pin, tip wears out, get this nifty little thing here, pull out your tip, take the new tip, plug it in. Does not charge. This uses a quadruple A battery that you have to replace. If you're environmentally friendly, this would probably be a negative for you because that means you've got to go through these little batteries. I've never seen a rechargeable version, not saying they don't exist, simply saying I haven't seen it. It's kind of like a Yeti. I'm not saying they don't exist, I just haven't seen a Yeti. Unless we're talking about a cooler, in which case I've seen it, I just can't afford it. Next step is going to be to actually turn these bad boys on and show you the same application working on both of them. All right, I hate people who do videos holding the camera, but that's the only way I can do this. So this one I'm showing is the iPad Pro, Sketchbook Pro. All right, we'll just pan right across. Now we're looking at Surface Pro 3 with the Sketchbook Pro app up. This is the full desktop. It is considered the more powerful version. Um, we're going to stay with this one first uh, because I have to go through and do everything with the camera on it. Um, it does not have a simple record mechanism like the iPad does. So we'll see if we can set this camera up. So your basic mechanics are still going to work fairly the same. And I'm holding the camera so you may end up getting some shake in there. I apologize. Um, like I said, I think that the the tracking of the pen is very nice. I do wish that the ability to record was in here. Um, it is not, so I'm having to hold the camera here. And this is just, of course, a simple little um, drawing here. I'll tell you what, let's make it somebody some people may recognize. Uh, Stan Sky, fantastic artist from Dark Horse, uh, does Usagi Yojimbo. The Ronin Rabbit. Yep. And there's one of the issues that I have with this. Let's take that over there. If you notice, I just barely bumped and I selected a different brush. Of course, undo is easy. Um, Anybody watches Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles knows this little rabbit will be showing up here pretty soon on that. Um, Stan Sakai seems like one of the nicest people in the world. I would love to meet him. I've never had the chance to. Um, if he gets to see this video and I got a like from him, <laughs> I would be like, woo! Because, uh, like I said, he just... Um, he just seems like the nicest guy in the world. Um, he doesn't know it, but he uh, was the lullaby for my uh, first son. We would watch the Stan Sakai video over and over all night. And uh, that's how my little boy would go to sleep, was watching how to draw uh, Usagi Yojimbo. And I have to admit, a little feller can draw a pretty good rabbit now, as long as his eyes are tied up and I... I'm not even going to try to say it because I'll get it wrong. Um, but Stan made sure to keep all of his heritage in place when he did this. Um, even down to the way the kimono uh, is um, overlapped. It's got to be uh, right over left because that's when you're alive. If it's folded the other way, it's after you've died. Um, so... It's pretty responsive. I mean, here we go showing the straight sidelines. 
This is a big problem, I know, with uh, a lot of uh, styluses with apps, especially if you start going real slow. You're starting to see a little bit of wave. I don't normally draw slow, so that's not a big deal to me. Um, of course, there's ways to get around that because you can tap the ruler, and now you've got a real straight line. So, uh, now here's a nice little feature. You don't get this over there. There's my eraser. You know, just like a regular pencil, I can flip it over. Um, it's a little large. You can change the size of it, but it is a nice feature that, depending on how you draw and work, can really help out. And of course, all the stuff is there. You've got layering over here. Add a layer. Um, go to your graphic pen, change your color, shortcuts there to black. So as you can see, I mean, it's it's, it's a really nice machine. Um, and I was actually able to pick this up for, uh, golly, about four or $500. Um, so considerably cheaper than what I got my iPad Pro for. I've got to save it, I've got to put it in a file. Um, if I want to do a how-to video, I have to go through a whole bunch of steps that I'm not even going to bother trying to show to you because it was just more of a pain than I wanted to. It was actually a, a cheating technique uh, that's designed in the surface to record your video games. I had an art professor who told me that PCs were designed for smart people. They're dumb machines made for smart people. And that Mac machines or Apple devices were smart machines designed for dumb people. While I totally believe his statement to be true, the thing is, if you're a smart person using a smart machine, you can just really accomplish a whole lot more. So that I don't have to do all this through here with light reflecting and looking really amateurish. Um, this actually has up here a button that you can hit and time lapse has started. It was that simple. So I will do a little sketch on here with the time lapse recording and I will throw the voiceover over that and then we'll come back and do an ending to this video. This is the iPad Pro. The drawing app here is the Sketchbook Pro again. This video was a uh, shot over five minutes and only took 42 seconds to redo. Same tools using the pencil. I'll go to a separate layer where I start inking. This time reference is really nice to let you know how long it takes to draw something. I do not have a lot of time to talk so I will try to make sure to get done but because of its simplicity this is why I am using the iPad Pro to do the book on. This will be the tool going forth that we do everything on. Um, I will see you in just a second as I come back and uh, finish the video. So those are the tools at my disposal, along with some traditional art supplies. Out of them, I have chosen that I want to use the iPad Pro. Just based off of my use, it works best for me. Um, I use the iPhone, that's what I'm recording the videos on. I push them over to the uh, iPad Pro. From there, I do all the video editing. Um, I've got a simple little tripod stand I put the phone in, and um, right now no extra lighting, uh, no better mics. Um, I've, I've reviewed a few mics. Uh, when I say review, I've gone on to Amazon and reviewed possibilities. Um, that gentleman, Brad Cobo, that I've spoke about, um, in, his, in his videos, he put links to the stuff that he uses. Um, his videos are great. They're far better than mine right now. Right now. I'm coming for you, Brad. And uh, so I will probably use something he's recommended. Um, anyway, that's end of episode four, tools. Uh, you know we've got something else coming up. And I'm going to go into more, a little bit more of the drawing process that I do on the next video. I uh, don't have a title for it yet. But you know why? That's because it's too... Be continued!